done early on in the season, maybe the home field advantage, you know, definitely helps, you know, that, that's, they got the crowd, they got the refs, it goes to their advantage, but that, that's a testament to Philly for being able to secure that number one spot and then having that home field advantage for sure. What do you make of just their offense overall? Uh, you know, great quarterback, uh, great scheme, guys that make plays. Uh, but at the end of the day, we just got to make our plays still on defense. I'll take a huge jump in direction um, from last year. Uh, you feel like going into next year, then this season, something you can build on going forward? Definitely. I think every year is, is, a, is a year of building. Um, you know, you just put the break down, and, and brick by brick, you just got to keep on building this, uh, this legacy. So uh, guys around me are just going to continue to help me. Uh, and my goal is to help guys that come in as well. Love playing flight back, a lot of time to think. What were you thinking about? Uh, probably just the, the great memories we got with my teammates. You know, it's, you know, a lot of people look at this loss as a as a big ordeal, but you know, I, I, I built a lot of friendships, you know, through this this, this season um, with great people. Uh, you know, it's tough for me to really sit here and talk with you guys, but you know, it, it, for me, just. I'm, I'm truly grateful to be a part of something that's special. You yeah, understand, it's just moments after the game and the emotions are still high. So, <laughs> sir, sir, we have to do this. Uh, I saw D'Amico walking off the field, and I said to myself, man, this, this is going to be the last time you have this defensive force. So what are your thoughts about that? Uh, he's truly special, man. Like, as a coach, he, you know, he cares about you as a player, uh, but he cares you as a person off the field. So uh, for him to go and be great, whether it's with us next year or as a head coach somewhere else, uh, I, I'm, I'm super proud of him for sure. And he helped me become the player I am today for sure. In, in all your levels of football, have you ever experienced a game where your quarterback can't throw the ball like that and you have to basically run everything? Uh, I've been I've been a part of those things. I, you know, I was a quarterback in high school and I watched games where I couldn't throw the ball. I couldn't play football, uh, quarterback at the time. Like, I've been a part of those games, but you know, you, you can never have excuses like that. You just gotta figure out what you're, what you're dealt and just continue to keep on playing. There still has gotta be a gut punch. You're playing a game, you lose to QB1 and QB2 in the same game. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, but you know, as a defense, we know we pride ourselves on, on getting turnovers. Uh, and that's where we had to do better today. You know, trying to take the ball and we can score on defense too. So it's not always just an offensive game where they gotta make points happen. You know, you've seen it here and out. Uh, on our side, on the defense side, where we got points during the season, so uh, that's kind of what we strive for as well. Uh, there's been some speculation that it might have been Jimmy Ward's uh, last game uh, as a 49er, or whatever. Dive into how important that's to the team in the secondary the last couple of years. Yeah, you know Jimmy Ward. He's a he's our captain, man. He's a truly special person. A uh, guy that shows up each and every day, ready to work. Probably one of the biggest dudes that watches the most film, you know, on our team. Uh, so he really adds that element, but you know, as a person, he's just energetic, uh, grateful, appreciative of the opportunity that he has here. Um, and so that's why that's why he's a captain. You know, and for us, we just got to continue to role model ourselves after a guy like that, for sure.